In this class, you will study one method used for the measurement of horizontal angle using theodolite. It is a reiteration method. So, measurement of horizontal angle by reiteration method. As an introduction, before going into the topic, just tell me what are the duties or role performed by a land surveyor. Just tell me. The land surveyor will measure the plot dimensions, calculate estimate plot boundaries, he will set out building on ground, also prepare map etc. So to perform the role performed by this land surveyor, when students should need to have a hands-on experience or different uh, instruments used in surveying, like theodolite. Theodolite is an instrument that is a commonly used instrument for measuring horizontal angle and also vertical angle. So in this experiment, before going into the reiteration method or the procedure of reiteration method, first recall the portions that is taught in the previous class. What are the different parts of a theodolite? Mainly, just tell me what is the upper plate of the telescope or upper plate of the theodolite. So new upper plate has two vernius. That is a special feature of that upper plate. Have two verniers A and B, and also a upper clamp screw is available to control the motion of this scale, horizontal scale. And second part that is telescope that is used to bisect different objects or features on the ground. And the third part of the theodolite that is vertical circle. What is the relevance of the vertical circle here? Because here we take left and right face observations. Left and right face observations are taken. So that is why here I mentioned one of the bottom part of theodolite that is vertical circle. Now by the end of this class, you will be able to explain the procedure of this reiteration method and you will be able to apply this method or in the particular, in the particular situation as a situation demands. Okay, let us move on to the our topic reiteration method. This reiteration method is used when several angles are to be measured from a single point. For example, let O be the point on a ground surface. Similarly, there are different points, say P. Q, R, and S. It is required to note the or measure the angle POQ, QOR, ROS, and SOP. Here, in this particular situation, we use the method of reiteration. Then, what is the procedure? Let us see the procedure. Procedure of this method. The first step that is to set up our instrument, so called instrument theodolite, at the center point or the station point O. The first step is to set up instrument instrument at O at O and bisect our first feature P. Just know that at this time, the reading shown by the vernier A should be 0 or also the instrument should be in left face condition. Okay. Then, now the telescope is bisected towards the point P. The second step, the second step to read the included angle POQ, turn the telescope to bisect the point Q. Use the upper clamp screw and turn the telescope in such a way that the second point Q is bisected accurately. So, this is the second step. Bisect Q to get this angle, say theta 1. Bisect 2 Q to get our first included angle, theta 1. Okay. Then, repeat the process. Third step is to repeat the previous step. Repeat the same procedure to get the other angle. Here, this angle 
theta 2. Then similarly, get the third angle, third angle theta 3 and also our last angle theta 4. So, third step is to repeat the process for the measurement to get angle theta 2, theta 3 and theta 4. Now, just note that the observations are taken in the left phase condition. Now, what will be the last step or the fourth step? Repeat the procedure or repeat again repeat the procedure when the instrument is on the right phase. Repeat the procedure when the instrument is on the right phase. Again get the values theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and theta 4. This is the reiteration method. Okay. This reiteration method, when it is used, this method is used when several angles are measured successively from a single point, say O. Also, we explained the method for the uh, for the reiteration or re procedure for the reiteration method. Okay, thank you.